DLB Network, a place for gamers. Hey, what's going on people? You know who it is. In this video, I'll be showing you guys how to install and use the Google Media Server. Now, it's still in the beta, so please, you know, give it some time. Um, it can improve, but from what I've seen, it is most likely the easiest to set up, the easiest to use, and it's free. I mean, it works great. You guys are going to love it. Um, in my opinion, I would rather the Google Media Server over Windows Media Player 11. So, I split the video up into three parts. Um, first part is what to do before you install the Google Media Server. The second part would be where to go to install the Google Media Server. And the third part would be how to use the Google Media Server. All right, so I split it up into three parts just to make it simple. Um, let's get into it, shall we? Now that we're into it, I split it up into three parts. Part one is what you do before the install process. Um, you're going to have to play a little bit with your uh, router settings. Part two is what you do or how to install it. And uh, part three is what you do after it's installed and set up. So now that you know what the three parts are, let's get into it. Part one, how to um, how to configure your router. Once you uh, have opened up your internet browser, go to your router's web page. In my case, I'm using a D-Link, so it's 192.168.0.1. I'm going to log in. And then I'm going to, well, in this case, it's under advanced. Um, and then network settings, or advanced network. Um, and I'm going to make my way to the UPnP section. That's Universal Plug and Play. I'm going to make sure that that is enabled so it's checked. And uh, once I make sure that it's checked, I'm going to go ahead and save the settings. So that's all you got to do. To configure your router, you have to um, do UPnP enabled. Now, part two, how to set it up. You're going to need to download uh, the Google Desktop for it to work so in Google go to Google desktop it'll be the first download you know it's pretty easy to find pretty easy to install you just click install and go through the install process if you don't know how it's pretty simple they have the you know three steps on how to install it it's pretty simple you just go next 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 and it installs itself um, then once that's installed you have to go there and download the Google gadget um, the Google Media Server. So type in Google Media Server. It's the first link, or actually the second link down. And then you click on that. And then click on download once again. Download this tool, this uh, gadget. So click on download and install it. It's the same thing. It's pretty easy. Once it's installed, your toolbar or sidebar will show up. That This right here that I'm dragging out, I'll make it larger for you to see that is the media server so there's the power button as you can see if I press it the green button goes away that means it's off press it again the green button comes back that means that it's on so to configure it click on a button next to the power button and that will load up the uh, configuration page so once it opens up uh, you're gonna ask to log in if you don't know if you don't have a Google account create one and log in um, in this page it'll show you what can connect you could either say allow anything to connect or just your PlayStation um, I say allow I say the first option allow anything and then you know just click OK moving down uh, this is your desktop these are all the files that uh, you can view I say choose all files you could you know select whichever ones if you want but I want all of them on there you can do videos music pictures everything so this next option here I'm not gonna go through because I don't have it installed and the last part YouTube make sure that is checked so that you get to you know see uh, 
YouTube videos on your PlayStation 3. So, that is it for part two. All right, so once you got the media server running, your PlayStation 3, you should notice that it says San, or your, PC, your PS3 name, then it says Google Media Server, as well as I've got Windows Media Player 11 Media Server. Um, so what I'm then going to do, um, you can see it shows up in videos, music, and photos. For photos, you know, you just click on the media server, go to desktop, and then photo. And then, you know, these are all the photo folders that show up on your PC. I'm just going to go into pictures, and as you can see, they all show up. You could open them up, copy them, save them, you know, do whatever you'd like with them. Um, this works pretty good. Um, you know, for music, do the same thing. Desktop, music, go find it on your music folder, or wherever you saved it, and it'll show up. You could copy it, save it, play it, anything you want. Now, since this is a beta, I, will I won't, you know, be too harsh on this fact that the video doesn't always be that great um, when you open up video you know go to desktop video wherever you have your video saved it will show up and um, if you try and play it you know sometimes it'll play um, sometimes you'll get a, a D L N A error while playing it and it'll kick you out or you know sometimes it'll be choppy and the, and the sound isn't that great um, so, you know, it being the beta, I'm not going to, you know, criticize too much about this, um, because everything else works great. So, you can play videos, it's just not reliable. Now, what else you could do in a Google Media Server, open it up, you see this is the desktop, that's all your files on your computer. Then you see Picasa, that you'd need to download, um, on your computer. I don't have it downloaded so I'm not going to show you how to use it. Um, fool around with that if you like. Uh, it's up to you. Now we've got YouTube. Now if you open up YouTube, um, this is unfortunate that they did it this way. It's cool but I wish they did it uh, another way. Uh, you can view the most popular videos on YouTube. So you know top rated. That's not your ratings if you have your YouTube account hooked up into a into like I shown in step two um, it won't show your top rated videos it will be the top rated of all time as well as the users favorites it's not your favorites it's you know favorites overall um, same thing for most viewed and everything else but it is pretty cool how they implemented it you can watch YouTube videos um, by clicking on these videos it's you know it's pretty cool how they did that um, I recommend trying it out every once in a while you will get an error and it'll kick you out but you know what it's a uh, it's a beta what do you expect right but it is pretty cool you've got to definitely go try this out it's worth the download it's worth your time it's what I use. I don't use my Windows Media Player 11 anymore unless I'm going to watch a video. Um, that's the only thing I use it for right now. Follow those three simple steps and you'll be good to go. And that's all there is to it. It's that simple. You guys are going to love it. It's free. It's easy to use. You guys, everybody loves Google. Who doesn't like Google? It's my homepage. I mean, come on. So. You're definitely going to want to download this. It is easy as hell. It is probably easier to use than uh, Windows Media Player 11. So, you know what? It's worth taking. It's worth giving it a shot. Um, but remember, it still is in the beta. Whether or not it takes off is, you know, depending on how how well it does, I guess. In my opinion, it's going to do good. It works great. I use it. I love it. Um, so that's all I got for this video. Y'all know me. My name's Sandman. Um, part of the DLB network. That's dlb-network.com. Go check that site out. You'll definitely like the news that's posted on there. Um, and that's all I got for you. All right, y'all keep it real.